Today I'm going to show you how to update your Lowrance HDS Live units to the latest updates. The first thing you need to do is go to the Lowrance website and their support page. I'll put a link in the description below. Go to their download page, find your HDS Live unit, and then select the update and download it. Once it's downloaded to your computer, you need to put it onto a micro SD card, which can be no larger than a 32 gigabyte card. The next thing you will want to do is save your waypoints. I'm not going to go through that in this video. I have a separate video explaining you how to do that, and I'll leave a link in the description of that as well. Once you downloaded your waypoints to another SD card and removed it from the unit, what you want to do is take the card that has your update on, put it into the slot in the unit itself. You can then go to storage. I have mine in the bottom memory card and right there's the update. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to hit the power button and go to power off and power off the unit. You turn it back on. Once it boots up it should automatically start updating. Here we go. Now it's validating in update and it'll begin updating. This takes a few minutes. It's updating, now it rebooting. Once it powers back up, press accept, press the power button, click on settings, system, then scroll down to about and you can verify the version there HCS Live 12 version 25.1 the update was successful at this point you verify the unit updated to the correct version so you're done the next thing you could do is do a hard reset what a hard reset will do is wipe it back to factory settings and make it like the out of the box experience when you just bought it the problem is it's going to Wipe out your waypoints and all your settings. Now I back up my waypoints and reinstall them, but I don't back up my settings. I just feel like if I back up my settings, something in there could be corrupt. And if I put an update on and bring those back in, it could possibly corrupt the new firmware. So I would much rather take the time and go through and have to reset the entire thing up than possibly have something acting funky the entire time with the new update. I'm not going to do it at this time, but uh, I will make another video and show you how to do that then.